What up, what up, what up? What's going on, everybody? It's your boy GS, and welcome back for another Meta 25 Online Rank Match. And today, in our alphabetical quest, we have the Cowboys going up against everybody would say about the second best team in the game. Some people may say the first, but the Seahawks. So, tough matchup ahead of me. Also, uh, the Cowboys have downgraded on defense a lot, Madden wise. They have D Ware and Spencer. They are on the line of scrimmage now. They are no longer linebackers. So, I mean, that sucks because Weir was like a 90 linebacker. Spencer was, I don't know what his rating was last year, but if it wasn't 90, it's got to be high 80s. You know, both of them were nasty. And um, when they're on the D line of scrimmage, the linebackers for the Cowboys sucks. And it's not a good matchup going up against one of the best rushing attacks in the league. I mean, I had trouble stopping the run all game. My defense is ass, but give me a team with no linebackers against a dominant running team like this it just made everything more difficult you know even if you put Weir and Spencer uh, at linebacker positions they're like like mid to low 80s and I, I, I don't know I definitely don't like the uh, the defensive adjustments that the Cowboys made as far as Madden goes you know because uh, last year you could consider you know the Cowboys one of the better teams in Madden you know defensively you put Weir and Spencer on the D-line they're like 98 and 97 something like that and, and now they're like 80s and I, I, I don't know I don't know but you know nonetheless we're stacked on offense we, we already know we're good on offense uh, we do have to go up against as he scores a touchdown right there what I believe is the best pass coverage team in the league so um, their pass coverage is amazing they have three studs at corners they press well their man to man covers well right there well, it looks like we might be able to go all the way maybe no okay well we'll make it to about the 40 yard line so you know, offensively, we have DeMarco Murray, who has been a glitch in Madden for like the last three years. You know, we have Des Bryant, Jason Winton. Uh, they did lose Ogletree, which is, you know, uh, a lot of speed loss, but they do have Armstrong, you know, uh, somewhat of a speed guy. Right here, we go to Harris right here, and as you see, we're pretty much comfortably moving the ball on offense is what I expected to do with the dominant uh, offense. And right there, Tony Romo being Tony Romo, dude, can't even take a sack. Can't even take a sack. A scoop and score just like that because it was a fumble. And he ends up recovering. And now I'm down 14 to 0. And I'm not feeling confident whatsoever. You know, already going up against a very good team. And uh, my opponent seems like he has an idea of what he's doing. You know, so uh, I know it's going to take some consistent offense and some defense down the line for me to try and get back in this ball game. So, you know, and, and if you notice, the first quarter went by really quickly. He ran the ball a lot. Uh, he was not necessarily milking clock, like winding it down to the one second mark, but, you know, he definitely wasn't hurrying up. As you see, he plays uh, Fagdy a lot, and uh, he'll send some blitzes, and uh, he'll send some Fagdy too. So, I mean, he mixed it up. So, uh, you see me primarily passing, even though we got DeMarco Murray, who's a glitch in this game, due to the fact that the way he ran the ball and just ate the entire first quarter, it's like, you know, he's capable of doing that because, as you guys know, I always struggle against the run as it is, so... Um, you know, I, I need to be able to, I feel, like be able to score quickly because he's proven that he can waste an entire quarter on a drive. So, you know, I got to keep that in mind. And as you see, he continues to pound the rock, and why should he stop? You know, I'm having trouble stopping it, so I'm expecting him to continue to feed the beast. And, you know, until I make a stop, that's what I'm expecting to face. So, uh, you know, like I said, the, the Seahawks are such a nasty team. And uh, I really would have liked a better linebacking core to go up against this team. But, you know, nonetheless, you know, we got to make it do what it do, baby. You know, we got a big, strong offense. You want to talk about offenses. Cowboys offense is nasty. Like, Romo, as far as Madden goes, don't, don't kill me in the comment section, but as far as Madden goes, Romo's a beast. <laughs> um, you know, Des Bryant is a monster. Miles Austin is, is very good. Jason Witten is a monster. Then you got Armstrong with some speed. You got Harris. You got Murray. Uh, it does suck that they lost Felix Jones because that was a very good spell back to have you know you can mix around by putting Murray as a receiver and then having Jones in the backfield and you know them losing that that uh speed back definitely sucks oh right there come on let me get the interception EA we end up holding him to a field goal with less than a minute left maybe we could go on ahead and drive downfield we do get ball at halftime so hopefully we can go ahead and either score a touchdown or maybe a field goal just put some type of points on the board and uh be able to either take the lead or tie this game in halftime hopefully so uh with one time out left we got to be careful 
and we got to be able to move the ball downfield and hopefully be able to score. So uh, after a sack, we're forced to waste the timeout, 30 seconds left, and we have a long way to drive. So uh, we hit an out right there to Des Bryant, and we end up getting out of bounds, which is good. You know, very quick play, good 13, 14 yards, and able to stop the clock. Sends a blitz right there, but we end up catching Armstrong, but unfortunately, he got a very bad animation, which forced me to call a timeout. <clears throat> Another out route, 12 seconds left. I decide to kick a field goal. I don't want to take a chance. And boing, I missed the field goal. I don't understand what's going on with these damn kickers. I go up against people who can kick it from 65 yards, no problem. I cannot kick a 52-yarder to save my life. That right there could be a big factor in this game as Carr ends up coming up with a nuts of you. Hopefully, it doesn't come into play because I would hate to, you know, feel like I, I would lost this game due to me missing a field goal. So hopefully, our defense can come through because, you know, there's nothing worse than thinking back of why you lost the game. You know what I mean? So hopefully, it, it just ends up being a non-factor. So 17-7, to you know, we're down right here. We do have the ball. So hopefully, we can go ahead and score. As you see, he sent one guy right there. Um, he did play, you see he's doing it again, putting a lot of guys in coverage, but we're not really struggling with it, you know, we're able to find success, so, um, you know, as long as he continues to do it, so far we're not having any issues with it, again, he continues to do it, and we continue to have success with it, so, uh, no complaints over here, if it's, if it's uh, not working for you, that's good, <laughs> right here, we hit him with the skinny, Des Bryant ends up getting in the end zone, what was that? Skinny. Skinny. Yeah, we hit him with the skinny. We hit him with the skinny. The skinny. Good job, baby. So it's 17 to 14. He gave you a hot dog? Because I don't want the hot dog. I know, you don't eat hot dogs. I like, I like food. You like food? I would hope so. You're a Marrero. That's how we live. We eat food. So 17 to 14. We need our defense to come through. We got D Wheel right there in a nice little A gap. So it forced a third and long. Hopefully, we can get a stop here, man. So, he ends up doing a nice little floater right in my face. So, it's fourth and seven. This right here will be a big conversion. And we end up getting a clutch stop right there, stopping him just a yard shy of the first down. We could potentially take the lead right here. So, right now, we want to wind the clock down a little bit, be able to run the ball. You know, the pressure's off of us a little bit. We are ready in field goal range. Hopefully, you know how Bailey got a noodle leg. Again, we got some more fag deep, but we end up going deep over the middle of the Austin. And this is a touchdown taking the lead. And right now, you got to feel confident. Scoring cures everything. Me missing that field goal definitely had me upset, you know. And um, that drop pick right before halftime when he kicked that his own field goal. It's a little upsetting. But nonetheless, we got the lead. You know, so hopefully our defense can continue to come through. You know, another stop or so. Because this is a game of we're really not stopping each other. You know, I've had difficulty stopping him he's had difficulty stopping me you know he was fortunate and was able to get himself a scoop and score you know i haven't really had any turnovers going my way but you know nonetheless now we've each gotten ourselves a stop and uh offensively we're just putting on a clinic right there another dropped interception which would have been huge third and 14 right here and like i said we are really having a tough time stopping each other uh, right there, he kind of caught me, quick hiked me a little bit, and I was caught on the wrong player, and I was not able to adjust to that, and he catches somebody over the middle. So, you know, like I see, it's either bad defense or good offense, maybe both, <laughs> but uh, we're really having no trouble uh, moving down the ball. Uh, offensively and scoring on each other's defense so uh, if that continues then that means it's going to go down to a last possession which hopefully would be me you know and or maybe we can get a stop and make something happen and you know obviously that's what i'm hoping for so you know fourth quarter is here five minutes remaining you know we got to be able to get in at least field goal range right here quick little drag route to armstrong oh look at the move look at the moves look at the moves that you see oh my god that was nasty now this is good because hopefully he can take some time off of the clock and give me last possession. As long as we don't give up a home run type of score, we should be okay. I'm fine with him wasting a minute or two off of the clock because that means I should be able to have the ball last possession. All I have to do is force him to have a long, lengthy drive. I don't care if he scores. Just give me the ball back. But unfortunately, out of the pistol, he calls a run play, and nobody was in position to make a play, and he ends up scoring a touchdown. So now the, the roles are reversed. Now it looks like he has the opportunity to have the last drive. That play right there was so significant. You have no idea. That right there completely 
changed my game plan of how I wanted to, you know, attack this drive. I was hoping to get the ball back with two minutes or something like that. But four minutes, there's no way I could kill four minutes off of the clock with him having four stoppages of the clock with the two-minute warning and three timeouts. There's just no way. So, uh, dropped the interception right there, thankfully. So, uh, you know, third and ten right here. We're standing over, and we got a wide open DeMarco Murray, and we end up uh, getting past the 50-yard line. So, you know, right here you see we hiked over one second like I'm just trying to you know, kill as much time as possible because I know it's looking like he's going to have last possession. So, you know, we got to try and make it tough on him if we're able to score. Again, we roll outside the pocket. Nobody's open. And we end up just tossing the ball out of bounds. And third and 10 right here. And we throw a very bad pass. We throw interception. Right now, it's looking like game is over because, again, I'm really having trouble stopping him. Same as he is me, but I made a crucial mistake right there. And that right there is going to probably be the ball game. Uh, I need a stop right here, and again, I'm not really too confident considering I haven't gotten too many of them. But we do get a sack right there by D-Ware up the middle. Third and 19 right here. This would be huge. And a dropped pick right there. Fourth and forever, he decides to go for it, and we end up getting pressure. So we're still in this game. We are already in field goal range, unless Noodle Lake comes through. Right here, with less than two minutes left, is probably one of the worst things that could have happened scoring-wise. I get to the two-yard line, and I'm unable to waste any time. You know, I definitely did not want that to happen, but I'm not going to not take free yards. You know what I mean? So I score in two plays and leave him way more than enough time than he needs to go ahead and score with two minutes left. So it looks like it's coming to the GS defense. Am I going to be able to make a stop and be able to bring home this victory? We are on a winning streak up to this point. We're on a, like a four-game win streak. He does need a touchdown. He breaks off a huge run. Again, I'm not expecting any runs at this point. I'm just expecting him to pass. And he catches me off guard, putting himself in good territory to go ahead and be able to make a score. So we do a run commit right there. And we end up stopping him in the backfield for a loss of a yard. Second and 11. He decides to run the ball again. And thankfully, uh, he doesn't get too far. So third and seven. This is huge. If we can force a fourth down, this would be big. Uh, he comes out and he ends up finding somebody wide open over the middle. And now I'm getting a little nervous. He's at about the 13 yard line right here. So definitely getting nervous right there. Oh my God, EA! EA reward the user, EA. That wasn't a click on reward the user. Five seconds left, 35. Enough time for one more play. He caused the wide trail and hits me on an outpost. Good game. We end up losing by three. Good game. Good game. Cowboys playbook, I, you know, definitely like. They have offense all over the wazoo. Just unable to come through on defense when I needed to. That's the end of the game, guys. It's your boy, Jess. I hope you guys enjoyed this marvelous game because it was one hell of a game. I'm out. Peace. Give it to me, baby.